Pac-12. On the bottom, representing Studio 76, is Danny Myra, one half of the Bolo Bros. And on top, looking to pass, is Daniel Herrera. There we go. Apologize for that. Yeah, if the name didn't tip you off, Myra is definitely known for his guard work and uh, going for the Baron Bolas, his back attacks from anywhere. Danilo is a, a relatively new black belt, but very, very talented from top and it, more or less everywhere in this game. Myra is a, a, a regular training partner partner of Mikey Musumeci. Helped Mikey get ready for all of his WNO matches. And definitely has some influence as far as the leg, leg entanglement games and leg locks go. Yeah, Myra is um, one of those new generation of, uh, of black belts who, who grew up learning the Baron Bolo pretty much from like day one, right? And Moreira is right now trying to navigate his way around those legs. And he's doing so by, by hanging out in the pocket, let's call it. You know, he's not on the outside, he's not running around. He's, he's right there in the danger zone. This is the area where exactly the Barabolo specialist or the, the guard player, he wants to make connection, he wants to use his hands, he wants to use his feet, and he wants to get his hooks in to try and unbalance. Look at that, threading the arm, uh, threading the leg over the top, looking for the, the arm attack, but Moreira hip to it, postures up and out. But this is the danger. You're hanging out in that middle range, exactly like I was saying. Another heel hook is in. Moreira, look at that. Look at his face. He's like, <laughs> what are you trying, bro? <laughs> very, very confident in his very. defense there. See the grips here. That angle was great. We'll go back to that angle. We can see the grips here. We can't really see much from this position, but. It's really important in these matches that you know you, what, what you should be looking at. You should be looking at the hands. You should be looking at the feet. It's where the battles are won and lost, right, Chase? That is jujitsu, Hal. Hooks and frames, as Mike Musimichi likes to say. Of course, the score here. Tuna Moreira uh, will affect Daniel Myra's approach. He knows he's down. Three and a half minutes off the clock already. And I like the aggression from Myra, uh, hunting for submissions. Hasn't seen a real attempt to sweep yet. He just seems intent on the finish, which does make for exciting battles, but can also be challenging uh, should your opponent get a lead and play a little more conservatively. I like that use of the, uh, the two-on-one there from Myra in trying to isolate an arm of Moreira. He was able to enter into that beautiful spiral armbar attack there earlier, but now. Moreira looking very confident, just called for his own reset. <laughs> you know, a <he>, little <laughs> bit of swagger out there, seems to not be threatened by anything that Myra's throwing at him. You have to wonder if that's getting into Daniel Myers' head a little bit. Not having a lot of success, kind of being shook off with relative ease. See that armbar attack again, here it is. Look at that, coming over. It's difficult to uh, maintain the control of that arm, but look at the way that uh, Myra there, he uses it to actually, well, he uses it to spin through. I thought he was gonna use the thread of the arm bar to open up the leg attack. It looked like he was hoping that Myra, uh, that Moreira would posture up and rip his arm out and would actually leave a leg hanging in the process and transition from one to the other. But this is very, this is very technical guard play here, right? 100%, we're seeing, uh... 
the cutting edge of technique here from, from Daniel Myra, but Marrera doing a great job of shutting that down. Yeah, yeah, he's got the answer for every situation that has happened so far in this match. And that is, uh, that's that's impressive considering the some of the crazy positions that, that they've been cycling through. And you can see Myra getting a, a little frustrated or? He's trying to rip the arm out. I think he's maybe struggling here to deal with Moreira's defensive posture. Going high now, threatening with the triangle. Definitely mixing up high and low attacks. But Moreira, again, rock solid base. A little bit defensive from top, but that's what happens when you get a lead and feel very comfortable. I'm not sure. Um, I'm not sure because we came in just a touch late and the points were already on the board. I feel like it may have been coming up from the double guard pull that, uh, that was able to score Moreira the two points. Uh, we didn't actually see the sequence where it came from. But uh, this is the thing now that Moreira has that point lead. The onus is very much on Myra to score back, right? That he can just... I don't say he's going to ride out the point lead, but he doesn't certainly doesn't need to take risks. No, I mean... If his strategy for the last several minutes is any indication, I don't think he will. And it feels like Myra doesn't want to wrestle up, which, again, adds another level of safety to his game. Myra is strictly looking to invert under, catch a leg, or go for the back. Uh, if he's not wrestling up, again, that's just one less option that Moreira has to be too concerned with. Yeah. Looking for that arm again is, uh, is Myra. Trying to go in underneath and try and probably invert in underneath the legs, you would have to imagine. Oh, but oh, it was a quick very little wrestle well up. Yeah. I said he that. wasn't going to do it, but the timing was perfect. I don't think that was his plan, but he just saw a, a brief lapse in attention from Marrera. Marrera looked, looked to the sidelines and. Meyer took advantage. Really smart work Very right there. Smart. I got to say, I was so impressed with Meyer there. That was the not a particularly difficult wrestle up either. You know, just a head in the middle and and dive through for the for the double, but just off balance the opponent. However, that's two points back on the board for Moreira, the Atos black belt, and now we see a leg attack, trying to get that entanglement. He rips it out and away. Four points to two. I feel like Myra. There we go. Now we see another double comes up, trying to come up and get the back here. If he can drag Moreira into the bounds, that'll be smart because he'll get two rather than... Jumps on the back. I got my got face for the wrestle-up commentary earlier, you know. I said he wasn't looking to do it, but here he is <laughs> at the end of the match really pouring it on. Smart work. Also, Moreira is on Aries, not Atos Hal. Excuse me, yes. Uh, this is a little uh, tricky. Yes, he's going to get two. So that is two for Myra now. It's going to be 4-4. He was denied, unfortunately, the back points because I think he was in the transition of putting the hooks in and rolling as they went out of bounds. So he gets an advantage for that as well. And it's going to be a penalty against Moreira, the Aries Jiu-Jitsu black belt, for basically fleeing the area. Now, this really Mo changes the dynamic. It really does, Moreira yeah. was kind of coasting for a few minutes in this match. Now he is down not just by an advantage but by a penalty point. Uh -huh. So he most likely is going to have to try and score. He's not going to feel confident with just right. getting an advantage at this point. Yeah. Because just one behind. advantage, he's still behind. Yeah. yeah. Very interesting turn of events. And, uh, yeah, I'll be honest, I'm the same as you, Chase. I am genuinely surprised to see Myra switch up tactics and go for the wrestle attack like that. That's... Uh, Shows his versatility, I guess. You know, and we've seen already today some competitors get tunnel vision and write out a, a strategy that's not quite working for them for the entire match. Myra, uh, in the last three or four minutes, they really just started showing some different looks, using timing to his advantage, and it's paid off in a big way. Looking for a leg, but I feel like the knee has slipped out. There it is. Moreras. He just retreats to safety, but still in this middle distance. I feel like Myra is just throwing so much at him here. The trick is not to overextend and to give Look at this Moreira little. that opportunity to fire back. And Myra seems to be really at home in this kind of game now. So the tempo sort of shifted where Myra was for a few minutes in the middle of the match, a little bit frustrated with Moreira's stalling posture. Now Myra is in, in his range and uh, dictating the tempo of this match, where things are going, the pacing of it all. 
and he's going to take this win. There it is. Time goes. Myra advances in this featherweight division match. That's going to put him into the quarterfinals. Excuse me, semifinals. Um, he will face the winner of the, I believe the, the winner of Adam Benium versus Diego Pato. So Myra goes through. Semifinal match a little later today. Should take place around about 11.30 on mat 12.